Hi there, everyone. I'm here with Steph, our social transformation leader, and Steph is also running the Reach Hub. And Steph and the Reach Hub have come together to put a put a plan in place for um, some a fundraising activities, some charitable work over lockdown too. Steph, tell us what it is that you guys have been thinking about. Okay, cool. Thanks, everyone. So, yeah, so our Reach Hub is um, a gathering of people and it's run with um, myself and Jill Simmons. And um, she and I uh, have been talking a lot with the, with the team about making this lockdown fruitful um, and, and um, just better than the last one. But also we're coming up to Christmas and what can we do to actually start initiating on why we gathered together in the first place, which was to reach the people um, that we can, where they are, um, um, with love and kindness. And um, and so we came up with the idea of kind of Christmas hampers, they like John's Christmas hampers, and, um, and reached out to a few organizations uh, who've come back saying, yes, um, we'd love to, to kind of collaborate with one another. So that was awesome. Um, so we've got a few um, that we're going to be working with and so I'm happy to kind of go through those now. So we've got Aspirations Programme which um, is a local local charity and it is um, all about empowering individuals to break the cycle of addiction. There's a current emphasis on the cycle of um, sex work and addiction that is uh, currently a problem in South End um, and um, run by a brilliant set of people who have experience in that world and um, just a wonderful uh, organisation to support and uh, we've come up with a collaboration of these little bags that we'll put together um, an idea for a bag would be just paper, um, with items like chocolate and maybe some toiletries um, we're going to be thinking of a message so I just kind of got this from my bookshelf a message of some sort that kind of represents why we um, are spreading love like we want to um, and are called to um, lip balm mirror things that can help a lady um, in, in, in these times and um, just little gifts that um, would bless would bless a group of people um, at this time. So that's the aspirations program, and then we've got the Dove Project, which is an organisation um, that runs under Safe Steps. They are again a local organisation, which was important to us that they were local charities and organisations that we were supporting. Um, yeah, and they um, Safe Steps all, also have um, um, umbrella branches for children um, and children adults addiction and mental health and it's all surrounding the topic of domestic abuse um, there is a refuge in South End for women and children who are fleeing um, domestic abuse situations and this Christmas they will have up to 21 people um, on Christmas Day who are it have been fleeing those uh, that horrible scenario and um, so we wanted to bless them with as much as we can and again have a, a remit for certain things so I'll just get the next box um, so here we are we've got again women and children in mind so something yummy to eat something Christmassy and yummy something like um, mince pies chocolates anything kind of festive that's going to enhance the the joy of Christmas despite what might be going on in their lives um, you've got kiddies so sticker books um, stickers maybe something like something bakey children love to bake um, it's uh, the refuge has a number of rooms where the mums and kids are to the sides and there's a common room common kitchen so they'll be together and they'll need stuff to do so um, perhaps double or any sort of kind of board game that they might have some fun with. Um, a scarf for those cold moments. Anything that you're led to to, um, to gift that could be popped in a box and sent to these guys. Um, there'll be boys and girls of ages up to 13 and their mummies. So yeah, so that's the those are the ideas. Um, 
That is we, that sounds so great, Steph. Just so cool. I've got an idea of, of of the different charities and how I can support. What's the kind of give us a sense of the time frame here? When 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 are we doing this and how do we get these these items? Once we've made a package, we put a package together yeah. or whatever, what do we do then? Okay, so obviously we're in lockdown at the minute, so we're happy for people just to be accumulating these things at home. Um, time frames, we're looking for Friday again. The reason why I've mentioned Friday a little bit is because it's World Kindness Day, guys, on Friday. Um, so um, those who know about it across the whole world will be thinking about kindness. And although it seems like a, a word that's kind of like a pop word at the moment, you know, the Bible has been telling us about kindness for thousands of years. Um, it all comes from him and so from God. So, yeah, so I'm just excited uh, about that coincidence really on Friday is World Kindness Day so let's start then let's do it from World Kindness Day and finishing on the last day of lockdown which is the 2nd of December so accumulating up until the end of lockdown so kind of just sowing the seeds and getting the fruit out and then on um, the week after we're going to start wrapping and uh, sending out if you when you've get, got your bits and bobs um, let us know and we we will have drop-off scenarios but um, I think mostly at the moment either Jill or I will be coming to your home and collecting uh, I think is the best way to go so after the 2nd of December we'll send out a date where we can come and collect those goods from you um, just to make things easier and um, yeah that's the answer to that one <laughs> that's brilliant Steph that's so good and if anyone's got any questions or specific things they want to ask you they can just drop you an email right yeah please do yeah any yeah any thoughts any encouragements any does any ideas and just to yeah let's do it let's do this fantastic so that's stephanie at stjohnsouthend.org if there's any questions on that but you could drop a comment at the uh, in the video as well and we'll pick that up brilliant thank you so much Steph for your help very excited we're going to get involved and that should be a really great thing to do for lockdown too yeah yeah definitely thanks Mike cool see you again yeah bye bye bye